Hello, it's Bill again, and today we're going to talk about something that seems pretty wild. Hilbert space is space, and I think it holds. Let me know what you think. So space exists as a place to entangle. A probability field defined by unresolved bits between a host particle and its 10 to the 80 guests projected across a 10 to the 122 bit cosmic horizon. The host particle sits at the center of its own cosmic horizon, its own Hilbert bubble. The cosmic horizon holographically encodes 10 to the 122 bits at the Planck scale, the total uncertainty budget. 10 to the 80 particles, guests, reside within that horizon, each with a potential spin bit relationship to the host. These unresolved spin relations define the Hilbert space of entanglement potential. The more uncertainty, the more space. As time passes, dark energy expands space by removing particles from the horizon's ledger. Once a guest crosses a cosmic horizon, its potential for entanglement drops to zero. This reduces local entanglement burden, but it increases spatial distance. The remaining bits get stretched across a larger geometry. Local gravity, conversely, shrinks horizons by resolving bits via mass and measurement, lowering entropy and tightening geometry. What we call space is not absolute separation, but the measurable potential to entangle with the guest. That opportunity field is the metric. Space, therefore, is not an objective container, but a relational function of probability of unresolved information. The only reason space has the geometry it does is because cosmic holographic horizons are structured. They define the shape of uncertainty itself, projecting space as the allowed modes of entanglement from is any azimuth. Cosmic horizons are not just limits, they're scaffolds. They don't block space, they generate it. The geometry of space is not fundamental, it's a map of quantum uncertainty calculated relative to your horizon's shape, entropy, and symmetry. That structure, a spherical holographic surface encoded in Planck area bits, defines how entanglement can propagate from any angle toward the host. That's why space feels isotropic. That's why curvature emerges when resolution happens. Thank you so much. Watch the rest of my uh, playlist, or watch my playlist, and uh, have a great day.